What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today, we are going to be getting into some more mess, baby. So go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. It's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Mob. We are lit over here. Trust and believe that. And yeah, let's get into the mess. So Razor has been making her her presence real known lately in the Baddies East world, baby. So so first it was the reunion. There were uh, rumors going around that Smiley was going to bring her to the reunion. She shut those rumors down real quick and said, "Baby, absolutely not. Didn't even show up to my reunion. Why the hell would I show up to y'all's?" Anyways, so now she basically confronted Smiley about the MC, the little MC situation that was going on on Baddies East. Let's get into that, baby. This is, if, if you lost a mint skirt, if I lost a mint skirt, I'm a whole different type of person. That's crazy. You got no, I'm saying I did body. care. What I'm saying is I did care. They're making it seem like I did it. My man just told me I can get off flat. But. I love you, sis. Is it I love you, sis. Is it a lie? Uh, is it a lie? I can't hear you. Is it a, a lie? What, the miscarriage? Yeah. No. Who lied about that? No. So who, who lied you about that? Huh? Who would you talk to? Every single time I see Razor, and I am not exaggerating, baby, she is toe up from the flow up, just drunk, baby. Yeah. <laughs> One thing about Razor, Razor is going to get drunk, baby. Okay, there's one thing about it and two things for sure. Anyways, though, child, Razor just caught herself trying to call Smiley out. I mean, not really call her out, but just ask her was, what, child, basically ask her what's the MC thing a lie. Smiley says no, of course, girl. I, I don't know what else to say about this, honestly. Me, personally, I feel like the girl lying. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. I honestly am done talking about this, baby. I feel like I have talked about it so much. It has ran its course. I am over it. So y'all know in the last couple episodes, basically the girls rallied up to protect Mariah Lynn and defend her and child get her chain back. It was a hot mess. So in the midst of that child, when everybody was basically posting about it, everybody was on Smiley's side, you know, you know, basically throwing a little pity party for Smiley. Everybody felt bad for her, including me. I did. You know what I'm saying? Still do a little bit because God dang, they, they kind of did that girl look dirty, baby. But let's really get into what, <laughs> what we're here for. So Tessiki took it to social media and basically told us to stop the pity party because Smiley did not get jumped, nor did she get beat up. So stop the pity party respectfully. And Sapphire basically piggybacks off what she said and said exactly was never held to be hit. Let's go ahead and read some comments before I go ahead and get into mine. So the first comment says, Krishan friends ain't jump her neither since we acted slow. <laughs> Wait, no, it's funny that they said that because it's a little key key, but at the same time, it's really not funny because I, like Marsh and Jay, why would y'all do that? Like that's that still makes me mad to this day. Why would y'all jump that girl like that? Anyways. Uh, yeah, let's get into the second comment, child. So the second one says, if you put someone in a chokehold while they're fighting, the audience can't help but come to that conclusion. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what's so hard to understand about that. Anyways, so the third one says, Tessiki, don't piss me off. <laughs> child, a mess. Someone else said, this is the first season where I genuinely do not like anyone. And that's really what it's giving at this point. I still do like Tessiki, but I ain't gonna lie. She has been getting on my nerves lately. Like, I'm not gonna lie. 
But yeah, I'm not like I, this. I ain't no gonna lie. This cast is just not given to me at all. But let's go ahead and move on. So someone said, not them trying to gaslight us. No, because that's dead ass what it's giving. Like, how you gonna tell us not to chow? Anyways, I'll get into my thoughts later. So somebody else said, to be honest, all these girls getting on my nerves. They act like one way on the show and say different once it airs. I'm pretty over all of them. Yeah. <laughs> That's really what it is. Because they did the same exact thing with T. Like, none of them even checked on T when she got tag team. Checked on T at the bare minimum. That's the least y'all could have did. But everybody came online once it aired talking about some Like, child, please. Trying to, like, don't defend her now. Y'all ain't say nothing to her when it happens. Child, so, okay, so the way I feel about this is just, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I really wish the girls would just shut the hell up, like, your input is not needed in everything, exactly, especially when it's not even valid, like, we sat there and watched them on national television, we watched Sapphire, like, I, do I even have to repeat it, like, literally when Sapphire grabbed her and tackled her to the ground, Mariah Lynn is literally swinging. You know what I'm saying? And it may not have been Sapphire's intention for that to happen, but it was Mariah Lynn's attention and she was getting done up by two people at the same time. So that is called jumping. Whether you want to believe it or not, whether it's not the extent that you got jumped, you know what I'm saying? It may not have been the same thing, but baby, she got jumped. Two people were on her at the same time, whether you want to believe it or not. And for Tessiki to say that out of all people, really, it's just weird to me. Like, you're literally telling the fans, okay, don't uh, don't have a pity party. Stop stop the pity party. She didn't get jumped or beat up. Da -da -da -da. That girl literally, Roly, boom, threw a drink. Mariah Lynn, come out the cut. Boom, snuck her. Boom, Mariah Lynn ended up on the couch. Smiley tries to separate herself from everybody. Boom, Mariah Lynn comes back into the kitchen. Boom, Suki Hana pushes Mariah Lynn into... Like, come on. And then Smiley walks away again. And then, boom, Sapphire uh, then wrestled her to the ground. You know what I'm saying? Then, boom, Mariah Lynn trying to get her, trying to swing. Well, like, come on, man. Y'all cannot tell me. Like, there's no way. And, and yes, Smiley is not innocent. I say this time and time again. So, sometimes I feel like she's really not even a victim. Because the girl just goes on and on and on. Okay. But we're not going to sit here and lie, talking about some she didn't get jumped. Yes, she did. It may not have been their intention, but that's what happened. In the heat of the moment, that's exactly what happened. But the reason why I say is that it rubs me the wrong way that out of all people, Tessiki is saying this. It's because you got it done to you by your own sister. So I would expect for you to have some type of sympathy, especially because earlier that day you was in her face doing a little scene or whatever. It could have been orchestrated by Zeus, but you were still, they still felt comfortable enough to put y'all two in a scene together. You all in the girl face. You know what I'm saying? And then, and now you come to social media talking about some drop the pity party. Don't have a pity party. She did it. Tessiki, girl, I'm not like girl, because when it was you and you deserved it, you deserved the little, you know, the little pity party because, uh, Krishan did you dirty. But it's like, when it was you that had the little pity party, what happened? Oh, you was eating it up. You was eating it up. When it was you who had the pity party, like, come on now. Like, because it, it's just weird. I don't know. These girls on this on this season is be stressing me out, especially like the girls that I like, like Tessiki and huh, used to be E.T. Like, they just do too much. Like, because cause what was that for you to even say? Ciao. Child, so one thing E.T. is not going to do is she is not going to take accountability, child, for anything. Like, I, I don't know about this girl anymore. So she came to social media and she basically blamed Zeus for how she is portrayed on the show. Basically saying that they are trying to paint her as this follower. <laughs> and, and they're editing her good scenes, child. Okay, but in the midst, the, the, the thing is, is that the gag is, baby, is that in the midst of that, she also called, called out not only Tessiki, but Mariah Lynn as well for the whole smiley situation, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. Editing my parts. They keep editing my shit, y'all. And I, I don't know if it's to paint a narrative of being a follower or what it is, but... I did feel bad for Smiley, and everybody's talking about nobody did nothing for Smiley. 
And I feel bad for Smiley because when we was in the club, I was standing right next to her and I told her to turn up and have fun. And she was like, sis, I just had a miscarriage. And I told her to fake it and make it make herself smile. Like just, you know, we're on camera. Look like you're at least having a little fun. When Roly threw the water and tried to run up on Smiley, I got on the couch and I put my hand out and I was like, no, 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 Roly, don't do it. Don't do it. And Roly left her alone. And it's just that everything that I do gets cut. Fuck my right. Flip flop, yes. Who gives a fuck? Episode, Mariah said to Siki Lab people, when Mariah said on live, she was telling to Siki everything that was happening in our house. Bitch, you bitches was plotting on everybody in every house together. To Siki, you sitting there talking to Smiley, but ain't bringing up the situation. You rather go tell it. Mariah it so Mariah could handle the situation, but who gives a fuck about this bitch bleeding? Like the only it, you should have been saying, I seen a chain. That's it. Just a chain. Like they be worried about the wrong thing. Okay, so let's talk about the smiley situation first. So she said when Roly threw the drink at Smiley, she put her hand out, got on the couch, and basically told Roly, Hey, don't do that. Da 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 da. Basically talk Roly out of fighting Smiley and then Roly decided not to fight Smiley. Now I don't know if I believe that because in one in, in, in one breath, one minute she's saying, Okay, I felt so bad for Smiley. Oh my gosh, I felt so bad for Smiley. She even posted in her Instagram, she said, I feel so bad for Smiley. And then I defended Smiley. I helped Smiley. I was the only one that defended Smiley. I stopped Roly from fighting Smiley. But then the very next day, you were talking ish to her in her face, talking about some you're my least favorite. That's why you're my least favorite because you put yourself in all of these situations. This is all your fault. This, that, and the third. When Sapphire was still trying to get on her. Girl. And then not only that, you're in your confessionals popping it about her too. Not only that, while you guys were filming around that time, because I know it was around that time because you had that, you had that stale, crunchy red wig on, chap. You went live and you said that Smiley was your least favorite. Smiley. Smiley's my least favorite. Bitch, don't snatch nobody chain. The fuck? And be lying. That bitch at Loyola. So what, ma'am, what? Please come again. You felt bad for Smiley, but on the show, you literally said to Smiley's face the day after that junk happened to her, and you said, you're my least favorite. This is why you're my least favorite, because you bring all of this upon yourself, and you're a lot. Like, come on. Like, I just, I'm just not buying it. Like, I'm not buying it in the slightest. Like, you may have told Roly to chill out, but I don't feel like you told Roly to chill out for Smiley's sake. To defend Smiley. I doubt it you defended Smiley against your friend. Like, let's really be for real. Come on now. I'm just not buying it. I'm just not buying it. I feel like you are deflecting. I feel like you're not being real. And I just don't like it. And I just feel like you're a liar. Kind of like, I just don't know. I don't know how to clock, clock any of y'all girls on this show. I'm not going to lie. This cast, I'm not impressed in the slightest. Anyways, so let's get on to the next topic that she spoke about, child. So she also spoke on Mariah Lynn and Tessiki, basically calling them wishy-washy and basically calling them out for gossiping behind Smiley's back. It, it's, especially when Tessiki was in Smiley's face. Yeah, child. I, I don't know, child. Um, I really don't have much to say about that. You just, you're always, you always got Tessiki name in your mouth. I just hope something, chat, we just gonna see uh, when the reunion come because, uh, ET girl, you are always speaking on her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're always, you always got that girl name in your mouth. So we just, we gonna see. We gonna see what type of time you on at the reunion. But I know what type of time you be on, clearly. You did it to T, but I'm saying you didn't do it to Tessiki in the house. So we just going to see because you got a lot to say about her outside of the season. And I know y'all ain't getting to it on the show. What else did she say? Oh, the Zeus editing. How come every single time y'all get on TV, y'all act the ass, y'all show y'all ass, y'all always blaming the editing and Zeus. They say me, yeah, they're trying to pay me to look this type of way. Baby, you made yourself look like that. The moment you stepped into that go-kart play, 
Child, please. The moment you stepped into that go-kart place and you literally fought that girl for absolutely no reason because she was looking at you, but even though you was looking at her back and she was sick, girl, you, like, come on, girl. It's just, it just went down here for downhill for you ever since then, baby. Ever since then. And just for you to even speak to Smiley in that type of way, when the situation had absolutely nothing to do with you, talking about something, you're my least favorite. This is why you're my... Girl, we don't care. Like, I don't know. What do you mean they edited out your good parts? Chow boo. Which I kind of which I kind of believe too. Because I know for a fact that um, like girls like Anna Mac and... Sky, they posted um, on their story, like behind the scenes of them having fun together. And clearly none of that made the cut. Okay. None of it made the cut, but you're still showing that bad side of you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're still showing, you're still showing that side regardless. They didn't show anyone's fun moments. Apparently child, I, I don't know how to feel about that. Y'all let me know how y'all feel child. But that's all I have for you guys today. So like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. It's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Mob. I'm out this hoe. Bye.